Hey everybody, welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. So between the last episode and this one, what I did was I ran a couple of quick missions with my two lances again, just to gain cash. So the they were both assassinate missions, they were both lower level missions, just to gain uh, about a million C bills per mission. And then what I did is I sold any salvage that we got from that. And unfortunately though, well, fortunately or unfortunately, it depends on how you look at it, we managed to get an Orion piece, which actually, or no, sorry, not an Orion piece, a quick draw piece, which allowed us to finish up a quick draw, which I've kind of put in storage. I fixed it up, put it in storage out of the way. Um, we might bring it back forward, revisit this quick draw a little while later. Had a tri triple XL engine in it, which I sold. Um, and we had a bunch of other stuff that was lying around that we sold. Some of our older mechs we got rid of. Uh, so I got rid of the Trebuchet 5S, if we go to the mediums here. So the 5S is now gone. Um, and I believe we sold one of the light ones, did we? No, we kept all our light mechs. I think it was just the 5S we sold. Uh, so, yeah, so that's where we're sort of at right now. We got uh, 3.776 million, which is awesome. So what we're going to do today is we're going to run a mission, but we're going to get started. Let's go to ship upgrades. We're going to get our last mech bay up and running because we want to get that, that third lance going now, which is going to be the light lance. So this gives 18 battle mechs and plus 7 tech points, which is awesome. So we're going to purchase this. Excellent. So now we've got enough time. Well, you know what? We could let this play out and then bring the mechs forward. Actually, you know what? Let's do that right now. Let's go to our... Um, yeah let's bring a couple forward do we have we have enough room for two i think we have enough room for one so let's bring the butcher forward so let's go to storage and we're going to bring the butcher forward uh, let's go to light mix or sorry medium and bring him forward here let's ready this guy we're going to get him outfitted uh, outfitted for the light lance so the Light Lance is going to take over basically for our Pirate Lance. We now have four pilots for that Lance. So uh, let's go to Mech Bays. So they're going to be basically doing um, the very low skull missions to pick up some cash. So if we can run these guys twice a month, they should be able to completely offset any uh, financial reports we have. Right now we're at, at uh, 820,000 C bills and probably we'll be up over 900,000 once we get this lance in play and then of course once we get the assault lance in play it'll be even more so it'll be over a million C bills that we'll have to uh, be paying out every month so our light lance pulling off a couple of you know one and a half two skull missions which should be okay I think once we get them outfitted properly uh, that should net us the cash every month and then we can just focus on our main guys so let's refit this vindicator or butcher that is now we don't have a lot of gear so we're gonna have to really be selective in what we're planning on doing with our mechs all right, so now this guy's got two missile points and a ballistic laser points, and we're planning on doing, let's just max out his armor real quick, and we'll drop the back slightly. Doesn't need to be full in the back. We can do that, I think. So with this guy here, uh, this guy's going to be our main fire support mech. Uh, he doesn't necessarily need to be fast, but it does but it does need to have a, a half-decent amount of firepower. So let's look at our our uh, engines first, decide what we want to drop in here. So I'm thinking around a Fusion Core 200 probably will be enough. So let's drop that in this guy. And we do have a double heatsink kit still left over, or do we? No, we used it up somewhere. We did have a double heatsink kit at one point in time, but we did, I guess we used it up. So I'm definitely going to need two more heatsinks with this engine, so let's drop those in there for now. And I think if we want to make this guy a relatively heat efficient build. Let's drop the light engine in for this particular mech and if we go to equipment we've got Faro. We're gonna put the TC cockpit in this guy. We did pick up a TC cockpit a little while ago. Uh, extra light gyro we'll drop in here and probably just endo steel. Don't think we're gonna need the ferro fibrous at this point, but we'll put this in. So we've got now a nice light mech, so we can put something heavy on this guy weapon-wise. Now I'm thinking we might just go ballistic with this one. We haven't had a chance to really try out our rotary auto cannons. I'm thinking maybe we're gonna try a rack five in this guy. And let's go to our 
arms. I don't think we can put an arm hand on this side, but it does go in this side. So we'll put a lower one on this side, give it a bit more bonus to hit. Now we're going to need at least, if you figure 10 turns of firing, we're going to need at least three tons of ammo. So let's move our heat sinks out of the legs. And we're going to go to ammo for ballistic. And I think we have AC5 ammo, if I'm not mistaken, we do. So we have AC5 precision ammo, which I don't think we can use. No, we can't use with the rack, unfortunately. So we're just going to put three tons of AC5 ammo in. This will give us enough for about 11 turns of sustained fire, which is fine. Now we've got our heat problem already since this is 36 heat. So we're going to need, definitely going to need a couple of heat sinks. Let's go with, uh, let's go. We've only got one type of heat sink, although we could put the exchanger in this. If this guy's going to be fire support, we are going to need another weapon in here. So let's maybe put that exchanger in. We're going to have to buy some exchangers at some point. But right now, I think we'll just drop that one in. Uh, Alpha Strikes 30, Heat Sinking 36. So let's look at, what do we, oh yeah, right, because this gives me six. So let's look at the weapon, see what secondary weapon we can put on this guy for fire support. So let's see what kind of lasers we have. We do have the large laser here, 30 heat, 55 damage, plus accuracy bonus which is kind of nice. We could drop that in the other arm. Uh, there's a large pulse, but that's, I think, too much heat. We want to save the medium lasers for the smaller guys as well as the heavy mediums, or the medium heavy lasers. So let's maybe drop in, that's way too much heat, unfortunately. So yeah, let's go with the large. Let's see how this, well, we don't have the tonnage for that. We can't do that. Hmm, right. Clown ER large we could, but then we won't have enough heat sinking. So maybe we just have to go with like an ER medium or something. Probably the best bet would be just to go this route. And then a couple heat sinks. And maybe... Well, there's ER smalls too, right? The ra What's the rack distance here? 480 meters. This is 450. And the ER smalls are what? 360. So I'm thinking probably, what can we do with half a ton? Not much. Let's see, we got the Panther that we're bringing forward. We've got the Spider, and we've got the Fire Starter. The Fire Starter is obvious, it's gonna be the Flamer Mech. The Spider is gonna be the super fast with Laser Mech. And then the Panther will probably be Missile Build more than likely. I mean, the other way to do this too is we do have that LRM-10 the clan LRM-10 that's only two and a half tons. We could pull out the ER medium, drop this in, probably on this side to keep it protected and drop in one ton of ammo. And we would put in the accuracy ammo. So let's actually do this, AC-5 ammo. No, I guess we should probably keep it here. I was thinking that if this leg gets wrecked, we'd lose the LRM ammo, but we would rather have the AC-5 over the LRM anyway. So the LRM's got what distance on it? 690. So I think this is probably an okay build. We're not really good on heat sinking, unfortunately. We're a little bit over, but not much. I think it's uh, that's acceptable. We'll probably need to cycle the, the uh, rotary auto cannon every once in a while anyway, just to uh, get rid of some stability, or get rid of some uh, recoil, that is. Okay, so we're going to go with this route, I think, for the butcher. Now, wait, do we have a... Um, we do have an energy targeting system. We're not going to put it in this guy. Triple strength by Mars, no. I don't think there's really anything else we want for this. All the Artemis would be nice, but it's not a dedicated missile platform. This is the guy that's gonna be standing back firing, so I'm thinking, well, the ECM would be nice, but I think I wanna save that for the uh, fire starter. Yeah, I think that's probably gonna do for now. Although we could, we could drop Ferro Fibrous in. And then we'd have enough for another heat sink. Let's put it on this side. And then we'd have a couple more points for back armor. I think we got three, yeah, three points, three more points, oh, four more points of back. Gonna go that route, I think. So the heat sinking is slightly better, 3940, which is pretty good overall. Yeah, I think that's, I'm pretty happy with this build. I think we'll go this route. Let's confirm this. It's only 11 a day, 72,000. I'll let you know when that's done. Okay, so let's go forward then in time. And we're going to get 
our mech bay 3 up and running, and then we're going to pull forward our other mechs. Buddha arrives at your quarters, looking for some advice. We started a com competitive training exercise in the training modules. Yeah, this is the one we want to have them hold extra practice. So now they're at high spirits. Cool. Sorry, I'm just whizzing by this because I really want to get into uh, finishing up the mech builds for today. So I think what we'll do is we'll tackle the fire starter first. Firestarter is relatively easy to put together. So let's go to the mech bays. So now we've got our mech bays up and running. So we're going to go to our light mechs. Oops, storage. Light. And we're going to bring this guy forward. And why it keeps clicking off that. I guess because it figures you're going to be going back there anyway. But uh, we need the Panther. So it's ready that. Now I'm not bringing the Dagger forward. Um, it was kind of a toss up for me between the Dagger and the Spider. The Spider is the same weight as the Dagger. But it, it has the potential to have more armor than the Dagger. Even though the Dagger's got more hard points for weapons. And it's got improved defense, stealth, and, and sensors. I think I would rather go with the Spider at this moment in time. Until we get... Um, uh, better capability and better evasion capability and then the Locust will be more viable I think but right now the Spider I think is probably better for the pilots that we have Got it. it just has a bit more survivability so let's go to the Argo here we should be able to ready all three at once uh, apparently not okay so let's go to the mech bays and let's have a look at our fire starter first so let's refit this guy now we already know what we want to do with this guy. We want to add some, we'll make sure he's got speed and we want to make sure that um, he's got all those flamers on. So let's max out the armor first. Going to lower the back armor slightly just to bring us down to what we need to be. Actually, let's go this route. Okay, so let's start off with the engine. And I'm thinking right now, maybe we go with, I think the 250 is probably too heavy. We don't really have a way to reduce the weight on it. 245. I think we're going to be in a, in a difficult situation here. Even if we go with these guys, we're still iffy. Well, we got endo steel and everything too, so I think we'll be okay with that. And we're going to need two heat sinks, so let's just drop those in real quick. And then let's go to gear. And I'm thinking we're going to need are these both lower arms. I think they are. Lower arm actuators. Let's drop the ferro fibrous in. And let's drop in. Okay, this is interesting. So we get sensors and sight distance. Since this guy's going to be moving forward, I think maybe that's better for the spider. And weapon damage is not really good for this guy. The damage taken though, minus 10%, might be the better way to go. Or weapon damage. Hmm. Sensors in sight. Injury resist. Resolve gain. I like the fact that it's got injury resist, so maybe let me go with a slick sweep. The ten percent damage, I'm not really sure against light max if that's gonna be as advantageous of being able to see farther and having injury resistance. So I'm thinking probably that way for now. And this is the guy we want to have the ECM on, although I'm concerned about the weight already let's drop the back down ah, center torso maybe down half and let's put the we don't it's ah, endo for sure let me think about whether it's going to be this maybe we put the defense gyro in because I'm thinking this guy's going to be in close you better have the defense gyro now we wanted to have the mask in here so let's put the mask in uh, let's drop it on the same side as the ECM. We want to protect that torso. Triple strength Myanmar's can't be used with mask. Okay. Uh, we could add the TTS plus three energy for this guy. Definitely give us a really good chance to hit with those flamers. But I think I'm going to need heat sinking. So let's look at our weapons first before we do anything else here. So we've got four triple plus flamers, which is what the original um, fire starter had. We're going to put those four in. Then I think we're just going to put in... we got two more of these guys too. We're going to end up with heat issues like we added, we, we had before. 
because the mask we get uh, twenty percent increased heat from weapons fire. So this is six, twelve, twenty-four plus twenty percent is another five, so twenty-nine. So we're going to be over for sure with heat, but if we put mm, two accuracy flamers in the CT, or maybe just one for now, and two heat sinks. I'm wondering if we should use that clan heat sink though, although we could put the vehicle flamer and generate zero heat and does more damage for two tonnage. Won't fit in the CT, but we can put it, like let's say we put it over here, and then we take the flamer triple plus and put that in the CT instead. Yeah. Feeling pretty good about that. And then we'll put the clan double heatsink in. Because this guy always runs hot, no matter what we do. And this one will be the first uh, the first mech that we need to put some uh, exchangers into. So let's leave it as this, I think. Alpha Strike says 24, and I know it's going to be a lot hotter than that. 24, sorry, yeah, 24 plus 29. It'll be like at least 30. Well, almost 40 if we're running and stuff. So let's leave it as this, and we'll get that going. Right. And the next thing we want to look at is a spider. He is going to be the guy that we're going to use to uh, do high maneuverability attacks from behind. So this guy's only got four laser points in the torsos. So maxing out the armor first, obviously, since that's what we need to do. And let's drop the armor like this, and then let's go to equipment. And I think we can probably successfully run both Pharaoh and um, End of Steel since we've got lots. And I think we want to run XL Gyro in this guy. I don't even think we're going to need the Gyro. I'm going to leave it out just for now to see what we can do here. So this one is 16 and a half. This guy is 15 and a half. For the, what's the difference in speed here? 315 and this one will give him 325 so not that much difference for one ton I'm thinking probably we're gonna go that route and then we can put the triple strength Myomars in this guy as well so let's put these guys in here let's drop them in the legs for now and now for weapons so I think I might want to go, we could go with just two medium heavies and then the rest heat sinks. But that's going to really give us problems with heat sinking. Like if we go this route, like we're way, we're never, never going to be able to recover that. Even with like five extra heat sinks in there, it'll only be 15. So if we put one medium heavy in this guy, actually the other thing we could do If we go with medium pulse lasers, we get more accuracy. Or just the regular late medium lasers here with accuracy and crit. Got three. Like if we just go this route. And then we add... We have hands on this guy, so let's do that. And then we go to our heat sinks, right? Drop a couple in, and maybe we can lose a half a ton of armor. Like, we don't have anything in the arms, right? They're just basically uh, damage blockers. We do that, and this, and then one more heat sink. In the leg probably that should put us close yeah I think we're gonna try this I mean the other thing to do is put the gyro in then we can put the armor back on which I think maybe is a better idea I don't think we need to we're gonna put this well we weren't gonna put the slick suite in this guy we we're gonna put in uh, this guy sensors and breaching shot Single weapon. Maybe we'll use this one because he's going to be in close. We want the injury ignore, I think, for him. And we'll use a breaching shot copy for the Panther. 
Yeah, so let's put the... Uh, we got the XL gyro, let's use it. So let's put it in here, we got three more tons. Uh, we could put the TTS plus three energy in this guy. But if we put a PPC on the Panther... Probably going to want the damage for or the uh, accuracy for that instead. What else can we do with this guy? Let's go put a heat sink in. Actually, let's put two heat sinks in, and then let's go to weapons, and maybe add. We could put a tag in since this guy's going to be our front liner. Maybe we do that too. Heat efficiency is really good on this guy. And I think I want to leave it that way, because this guy's going to be running full speed all the time. Hmm. Yeah, let's go this route. Flame Breath is one ton. We can't use that anyway. Alright, that's good. Let's confirm this. Alright, now our Panther. Let's refit this guy. This guy, once again, doesn't need to be really fast either. Okay. So, we've got two missile points and two laser points, which it really isn't a whole lot for this guy. So if we're going to use anything, it's probably going to be a PPC. But let's go here, let's look at the engines first. I think we're going to put a 200 engine in this guy. So they'd be able to move at least the same speed as the Butcher, which means we're going to need a couple of heat sinks. Let's do this. Let's max out the armor, as we've done before. And then let's pull a couple points out, just like that. Let's go to Ferro Fibrous, and we're going to add the... Where are you here? We're talking about putting the clan cockpit in, the ultralight gyro. I know we're going to take some stability damage with this one, but I'm thinking at the distance we're going to be at, we'll probably be fine with that. We're going to drop that in. We're going to put the TTS plus three energy. And let's move over to our weapons. We're going to have a look at our lasers here. We could put a cl large clan ER instead of the PPC in. Although I think our PPC has minus recoil and plus evasion ignore, but it does run a lot hotter. Hmm. Maybe we go this route? It is a nice big weapon, although this one's nice as well. Generates less heat, more accuracy and evasion ignore. It's a much better chance to hit. We could drop that in. Let's look at our equipment again to make sure we have the right... Yeah, that can go there, that can go there. And then, going back to our weapons, we do have missiles slots. Um, it does take more off the back than off the front because we're going to be facing the enemy most of the time. So we could go with... We've got, what? Eight and a half tons left? We, we have Clan LRM-20s. We've got Clan LRM-20s. Eight and a half tons. We could put seven tons in. A couple of Clan LRM-20s. But then we need to get the heat for that. Heat sinking. So we'll be either firing the large laser or we'd be firing the LRM-20. I mean, we could make this just a double LRM boat. Pull out the large laser. No, I'm thinking that's probably not the best way to do this guy. Uh, what about SRMs? What are we looking at for SRMs? We do have streaks, but they, you know, they do generate a lot of heat, right? That's six tons for 24 heat. If we put two fours in. Bonus accuracy, accuracy SRM six. Streak six for 21. See, so we're better off putting two fours in. They weigh more, but slightly more. Six tons as opposed to four and a half. Hmm. Streak twos do nine heat for a ton and a half. So we could put two of those in. If we put the streaks in, large laser and two streak fours, our heat sinking is dropping dramatically now. Now can we use bonus ammo with this? Like if we use streak, I don't think we can use dead fire ammo with streaks, can we? Can we? No. We just have to use regular SRM ammo. Let's put it on this side. Hmm. 
Yeah, then we only have like one ton left for uh, heat sinking, and we are like killed here for heat. So that's not a viable option. Man, without these engines and stuff to give us more uh, weight, it's really hard to get a good build on this guy. <clears throat> we could just go with, hmm. LRM-10 is what, 12 heat? And one ton of ammo. Or maybe we avoid missiles altogether and go put a second laser in. Oops, let's go to the lasers here. We could put a second laser. Um, a clan medium heavy. And then the rest is heat sinks. We could put that in the center torso. Let's see what that gives us. Oops, let's go to equipment here. Let's go down to heat sinks. It better do it this way. And come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How are we doing now? Hmm. Still not so good. I mean, if we pull out the large, if we don't worry about the chance to hit, we pull out the large, which was 30 heat, go back to weapons, and grab the other... This is only range 330, though. We have to be in close with these things. I'm trying to find something that will give us the best chance to hit, but really it's not working out all that well. X220. See for the extra ton it's still better to go with this guy because we have to add a heat sink anyway and it's not we have to add two heat sinks to make up for it. So we're better off leaving that in and then we have half a ton left. So maybe we Hmm. Start heat sinking out again. 51. This is a tough build here. I don't really have enough to do what I want with this guy. I mean, short of build, bringing the armor down, right? Maybe we just go... Jeez, I don't know. Maybe we try something simple. Like if we do the bonus damage SRMs, say we add the two SRM2s because they they have extra damage and then we can use our bonus to hit or our dead fire even. Say we put our dead fire ammo in. Okay, we're over right now, but let's say we, if we're going to go for a close range build and we don't need the large, we can pull that out and we can put the heavy clan medium laser in here instead. So our heat efficiency is still pretty good. And now we can add... How much does this guy weigh? Half a ton. But it's 24 heat. Like, that's ridiculous. I mean, I know it does 30 damage, but just use a medium laser for crying out loud. Uh, do we have any bonus medium lasers left? No, we don't. Hmm, small ER laser, laser, that's range 360. What's the range of a medium laser? It's around the same, isn't it? 330 for 25 damage, and this is 18. Let's have a look at our missile systems again. We have an SRM-4 that's got bonus damage. So we could pull out the two and drop the four in. What's the heat sinking like now? Pretty damn close to flush. Small laser and a couple heat sinks, probably. Like we could drop the ER small in. This build is so underwhelming, I'm just not what I expected. 
and go with a couple more heat sinks. Heat sinking is pretty good overall. The damage, not so much. We got a 50 pinpoint, and then an 18, and then missiles splash damage. I mean, the other way to, like I said, is the other way to build this guy is to turn him into an LRM platform. Put the two clan LRM 20s in here. Then we have to figure out where the TTS plus three energy is going to go. But even the two LRM 20s, so this is giving us what 50, 38, or 68, sorry, and then this is 40 and 24, so 64 and 68 is 132 damage. Two LRM 20s, if it hits with everything, is a 160. So it'd be 510, and then I need four tons of ammo. That's 14 tons, and this is, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We wouldn't be able to put anything else in. It would just be the two LRMs, and that's it. No, I'm thinking we're just going to go this way for now. I mean, if we go with one LRM-20, even then, this is, what, 6, 14 heat. The LRM-20 is, like, 18 or something. Yeah, we're going to go this route. Let's confirm this. All right, not the best. We're definitely going to need to get um, some light engines or XL engines for these guys. We're definitely going to need to get some exchangers, for sure, to replace those heat sinks. Uh, that's definitely going to help out. But I think for now, I think we can probably live with that. Uh, and I think what I'll do is I'm going to end this episode here. And when I come back next episode, uh, we're going to take our Light Lance out. And I'm going to start up the Pirate Lance series with these guys. So these guys will be, I think, episode 15 of Pirate Lance. Uh, and then I'll just focus on my main guys for the other series. But I think these guys will take over the Pirate Lance series. I'm going to try to run them once a day just to be able to generate some cash and stuff. But um, with three bays going... If I'm running three groups of mechs, uh, that's going to be a lot of repair time, even with the three bays going, so hopefully they won't be out of action for too long. But uh, yeah, so this is a relatively short episode, but until next time, if you like the episode, please drop a like. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you later.